Do you own a big dog, a majestic Akita, or maybe a formidable Cane Corso? Well, what if I told you that there are places in the US where you won't be able to take your beloved pooch? That's right, in America, the ownership of certain dog breeds is restricted or sometimes even outright banned, establishing a legal presumption that these dogs are dangerous or vicious. Join us today on Dogs Wiz as we explore the complex maze of breed-specific legislation in the US, unveiling the list of dog breeds that are banned in the country. But before we begin, do note that breed-specific legislation, or BSL, can be different from state to state or even city to city. While some states, like Washington, might have bans and restrictions placed on certain breeds, others, like Alaska, may have none. Legislation changes over time as well, with some cities like Springfield and Independence in Missouri having repealed previous dog breed bans by popular vote. So, the the only real way to know if your dog is banned in a certain place is to check the laws and rules for yourself. Now with that out of the way, here's the list of banned dog breeds in the US. Number 1. Pit Bulls First up on the list are the dogs that have faced bans more frequently than any other breed, pit bulls. But here's the catch. The term pit bull is not just one breed. It's a term that encompasses several breeds and mixes. Think Bulldogs, Staffordshire Bull Terriers, American Pit Bull Terriers, and American Staffordshire Terriers, among others. These breeds often bear the brunt of suspicion when there's a biting incident, being labeled as inherently mean and aggressive. Unfortunately, this stigma extends to their owners too. And while some owners blame irresponsible ownership, statistics show that pit bulls are indeed involved in the highest number of attacks overall and are more likely to cause serious injury or even death. The American Animal Hospital Association reports that pit bulls were responsible for 22.5% of bites across all studies. Consequently, cities in nearly 40 U.S. states, including Iowa, Kentucky, and Maryland, have imposed bans or restrictions on pit bulls. Number 2. Rottweiler Much like pit bulls, the Rottweiler is another breed that is assumed to be aggressive by nature. And some studies seem to agree with this assumption as well. For instance, a 2008 study revealed that while Rottweilers didn't exhibit much aggression toward their owners or familiar individuals, they showed a tendency for aggression toward strangers. Shockingly, Rottweilers closely followed pit bulls in fatal attack statistics, accounting for 39 fatal attacks between 1979 and 1998. However, this tendency has often been linked to irresponsible breeding. Mass breeding operations driven solely by profit and disregarding behavioral considerations have flooded the market with potentially aggressive Rottweilers. When coupled with inadequate training, it's a recipe for disaster. As a result, Rottweilers face breed-specific legislation in just over 20 states, like Washington, for instance. And while they may not face outright bans on a state level, plenty of cities and housing do not allow this breed. Number 3. Wolf-Dog Hybrids Also known simply as wolf dogs, wolf-dog hybrids are the result of breeding a domestic dog with a wolf. While there are instances of dogs and wolves naturally mating, deliberate cross-breeding didn't become common until the 1800s. Examples of these hybrids include the Sarloose wolf-dog, the Czechoslovakian wolf-dog, and the Volko Saab. Due to their blend of genetic traits, predicting the adult behavior of wolf-dog pups is not as straightforward as with normal dog pups. They can easily inherit aggressive traits from their wolf parents, making them potentially unsuitable as pets, so they're often considered wild animals. According to National Wolf Dog Alliance, approximately 40 U.S. states effectively prohibit the ownership, breeding, and importation of wolf dogs, with others imposing varying degrees of regulation on ownership. These include Connecticut, Columbia, Hawaii, and New York. Number 4. Kangol As the undisputed champ of the dog world in terms of sheer bite force, it's no surprise that the Kangol faces breed-specific legislation. With an astonishing bite force of 743 pounds per square inch, Kangols possess the strongest jaws in the canine kingdom. To put that into perspective, the average human only exerts about 162 pounds per square inch with their bite. In simpler terms, a single bite from a Kangol can inflict serious damage. These formidable dogs have been known to take down even wolves. Pair this immense strength with their territorial nature and protective instincts, and you've got a potentially dangerous combination. However, it's not like Kangol's jump at any opportunity to bite. They only resort to using their strength when they perceive a threat or when their boundaries are encroached upon. As a result, the Kangol is not fully banned in the US, but they can change depending on the city and your home insurance policy. Number 5. Chow Chow Recognized for their unique blue-black tongue, the Chow Chow is yet another breed subject to restrictions in certain regions of the US. Once revered as guardian dogs, their history has endowed them with an aloof and distrustful temperament, particularly towards other dogs. Thus, a so predisposition towards aggression can manifest in Chow Chows, if not adequately addressed through training. Unfortunately, their aggression is not limited to other animals. Incidents involving humans have also been reported. For instance, in 2012, a Chow Chow was euthanized after attacking an 8-year-old boy on a bicycle 
bicycle in York in South Carolina. The boy, who used to have regular interaction with the dog, sustained facial injuries requiring stitches and staples. As a result of such incidents, Chow Chows are among the dog breeds most frequently banned by property managers. Number 6. Hybrids of Banned Breeds Breed-specific legislation does not just affect specific breeds, it also extends to dogs who share a lineage with these banned breeds. The laws can be so strict that even a mixed-breed dog inheriting all positive traits form, let's say a golden retriever, could face restrictions simply because its other parent was a bulldog. It's quite unfair, don't you think? But if the temperament was the sole criteria for prohibition, you could argue that legislation should focus on individual dogs rather than broad breed categories after all. However, what's even more perplexing is that in some areas, dogs can be banned or restricted based solely on physical appearance. Yep, dogs exhibiting the majority of physical traits resembling banned breeds, like a Staffordshire Bull Terrier for instance, may face prohibition in certain places regardless of their actual lineage. Number 7. Cane Corso Mastiffs in general are giant dogs with a fierce history of fighting and protecting. The Cane Corso, also known as the Italian Mastiff, is no exception to this. With a height of around 25 to 27 inches and weight exceeding 100 pounds, these canines undeniably command attention. However, their strength becomes more apparent when a Cane Corso decides to assert itself. You see, Cane Corsos are inherently territorial, a trait accentuated by their breeding as guardian dogs. Naturally wary of strangers, some Cane Corsos may resort to using their strength to handle things, especially if they lack proper socialization from an early age. You need to properly train your Cane Corso to ensure that they understand their own strength and its potential consequences. Regrettably, not all owners invest the necessary effort, leading to the breed facing bans or restrictions in select states like Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. Number 8. Presa Canario Bearing a striking resemblance to the Corso, the Presa Canario is a breed that may not come as a surprise on this list. Originating from the Spanish Canary Islands, these dogs have a rich history of guarding, herding, and unfortunately, dog fighting. This kind of background has ingrained in them a suspicious and defensive nature. In other words, they may exhibit aggressive tendencies, especially if they haven't been trained properly. The breed is banned in several countries worldwide, although interestingly, they remain legal in most parts of the US. Nevertheless, breed-specific legislation varies from place to place, leading to some smaller jurisdictions like Wheeling, West Virginia, prohibiting the ownership of these dogs. Number 9. Akita Akita is a renowned all over the world for their unwavering loyalty, exemplified by the heart-touching story of Hachiko. However, the American Akita is notorious for a different trait. Yep, aggression. These dogs possess an independent and stubborn nature, making them less tolerant and adaptable compared to some other breeds. Akitas need their space and boundaries to be respected at all times. Failure to do so can result in instances of heightened aggression, particularly towards dogs of the same sex. While the breed may not face outright bans in many places, they are often subject to stringent regulations such as mandatory muzzling requirements. Additionally, you may be required to carry liability insurance of up to 100 grand or display a dangerous dog sign at your home. Number 10. German Shepherd Despite their esteemed reputation as diligent working dogs and invaluable contributions as police canines, even German Shepherds find themselves subject to breed-specific legislations. Surprisingly, biting incidents involving this breed are more common than one might assume. Some studies even rank German Shepherds as the third most dangerous breed involved in 17.8% of all bite incidents in the US. However, it's essential to note that a well-bred German Shepherd is typically reserved around strangers, never displaying unfriendly, anxious, or aggressive aggressive behavior. In other words, inadequate training and socialization are often the primary reasons behind an aggressive German Shepherd. Nevertheless, the breed faces restrictions in certain cities and was once banned in Florida, although a new provision has changed this. Number 11. Doberman Pinscher Another notable addition to the list is the Doberman Pinscher. Dobermans were named after their creator, who meticulously bred them to serve as formidable guard dogs from the outset. As a result, they naturally possess a distrustful demeanor towards strangers and possess the strength necessary to deter any perceived threats. However, your average Doberman will only display aggression when they feel genuinely threatened. Unfortunately, public perception has painted the breed as dangerous, which has only been further fueled by their roles as guard or police dogs, as well as their portrayal in popular culture. Culture. Nevertheless, Dobermans face restrictions in certain localities across the US. Number 12. Siberian Husky and Alaskan Malamute Another unexpected addition to the list of banned or restricted breeds is the Siberian Husky along with their close cousin, the Alaskan Malamute. While the legislation affecting these breeds may not be as stringent as that for some others, it's still surprising to see them included. After all, Huskies and Malamutes are not what you'd think when you think of aggressive dogs, right? Plus, not many studies have indicated high tendencies for biting among Siberian Huskies. However, insurance companies often blacklist these two breeds. This is mainly 
mainly because huskies and malamutes are energetic, working dogs. If their needs for exercise, mental stimulation, and companionship are not adequately met, they can become destructive and highly unpredictable. Number 13. Tosa Inu The Tosa Inu, also referred to as the Japanese Mastiff, is yet another breed subject to breed-specific legislation. These are big dogs that weigh around 80 to 135 pounds in their home country of Japan, although non-Japanese breeders have focused on even larger dogs that weigh about 130 to 200 pounds. Originally bred for dog fighting, Tosas are still utilized for this purpose in Japan, where dog fighting remains legal in certain regions. This history has contributed to some Tosas developing a less than agreeable disposition, leading to their classification as a dangerous breed. In many countries such as the UK and Australia, ownership of these dogs is legally restricted. While Tosas are not prohibited in the United States overall, certain smaller jurisdictions such as cities and housing communities have been known to enforce bans on them. Number 14. Dogo Argentino Commonly regarded as one of the most dangerous breeds globally, it's unsurprising that ownership of Dogo Argentinos is restricted in many parts of the world. Most Dogos exhibit dominance or aggression towards dogs of the same sex, alongside a strong prey drive that leads them to chase and seize smaller animals like cats. When coupled with inadequate breeding, socialization, training, handling, or management, these tendencies can render Dogo Argentinos capable of causing serious harm to other animals, including humans. Consequently, the UK has imposed a complete ban on these dogs. In contrast, Dogo Argentinos remain legal in the US, but once again, they are subject to breed-specific legislation in certain jurisdictions. Number 15. Fila Brasileiro If you couldn't already tell from their name, the Fila Brasileiro is a dog breed that originated in Brazil. In fact, these guys are also known as the Brazilian Mastiff, and they hold the esteemed title of Brazil's national breed. With a rich history steeped in protection, hunting, tracking, and herding, these dogs were once invaluable assets in their native country. Notably, they were also utilized in big game hunting, where they bravely assisted in hunts targeting formidable prey such as jaguars and wild boars. So modern Filas inherit a fierce temper from their working ancestors leading to their often perceived reputation as dangerous dogs. Consequently, countries like the UK, Australia, and Cyprus have opted to restrict ownership of filas, while others like Turkey have gone as far as to completely ban their ownership and breeding. In the US, however, there is no nationwide restriction on fila ownership, although the same can be said for individual cities and housing complexes. Now, if we were to explain the case for each breed facing breed-specific legislation, the video would be too long. There are dozens of breeds that we can include in the list after all. Just know that the main reasons behind such laws revolve around concerns regarding potential aggressive behavior, the strength of the breed, historical incidents, and public perception. On that note, here are some more dog breeds that are either banned or restricted in the US. Number 16. Dog de Bordeaux Number 17. Kuvaz Number 18. Ka de Beau Number 19. Van Dog Number 20. Newfoundland Number 21. Commandor Number 22, Great Dane. Number 23, English Mastiff. Number 24, Chinese Sharpei. And number 25, Neapolitan Mastiff. Now I want to ask you a question. Do you think it's justifiable to prohibit breed ownership like this? While it may aim to enhance public safety and prevent tragedies, there exist numerous arguments against breed-specific legislation as well. Critics often argue against the inherently discriminatory nature of these laws, while also questioning their effectiveness in reducing the incidence of dog attacks. Moreover, BSL has also been associated with racial bias, exemplified by pit bulls being labeled as the black man's dog. Above all, opponents of BSL advocate for responsible dog ownership. They argue that the focus should be on educating and holding owners accountable for their dog's behavior. Effective practices such as socialization, training, and proper containment can mitigate the risk of aggressive incidents irrespective of the dog's breed. Now, I would like to hear your opinion on this. Do you believe breed-specific legislation is truly necessary? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.